What is up guys, Gamers Nation here, and welcome to the second episode. Look at this beautiful sunset. Nice, nice. Anyways, this episode we're going to be building the house. And hopefully, you know, we get everything situated. Off the episode, I got a little materials built, a little, this little camp area set up. Nothing too, nothing too major. Chest, put some blocks in. I'll show you here in a second. Nothing too interesting that you guys probably don't want to see. Gathering stuff for the second part of the episode. Other than that, I have blocks for this first part. So a bunch of different types of wood, some stone. Uh, so hopefully I could get something uh, decent built up here. Some sort of cottage or cave looking thing. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I might probably gonna go mine a little bit more of this tough block because I like how it looks. I do like how it looks, not gonna lie. And I could definitely do a lot more with it too from what I could is looking. I was trying to find. Yeah, see. And this is that stone cutting thing. And these are uh, interesting blocks that you can make out of. Alright. Well, so this first part is going to be me building the house. I just wanted to say, I tried to get the replay mod to work, but I couldn't get it to work in the mod pack. So, I'm just going to do a time lapse of me building the house really quickly. See how that looks, if that doesn't come out looking nice. I'll just either show little segments of me, or I'll show uh, clips of me building the house, basically. And we'll see how that goes. But thank you guys for uh, coming and watching. Anyways, this is the uh, first part. And I'll see ya in the house building.
This happened, guys.
Welcome back guys, and this is the house, we did it, we finished it, if you skipped the time lapse and you're joining us now, here you go, this is your first impression of the house, you know, I like it, it came up together very very well, I had a little waterfall, trees, 
See, our trees are growing really well. Our bamboo, you could see over our house. That's why I planted it. It looks very, very nice. If I do say so myself. I like how it came out. I like how it looks a part of the mountain. Like it ha it's being held by the mountain. I uh, do want to add some more detail under the house. So it's not just bare bottom like that. Like some pegs or something sticking to the mountain a little bit more. But for now. I do like how it looks embedded up here. Almost like it's a part of the mountain. Out of my little pond. When we come to the front over here. Here's the entrance. We come down the stairs. Got our furnaces. Nothing here. I want to add this. This is where we're going to go into the mountain. To go down basically. So... That's why I left this blank so we can mine out, but I haven't, you know, we don't have nothing there yet, planned there yet, so that's why it's blank for now. We have a little bit of chest with uh, really bad organizing, my bed, and a good view, and a really good view. I like it, I like it. So, let's get into the second part of the video since, uh, time lapse was really really long i tried to uh, make this part as short as possible i got everything ready to what we need um for this part of the video basically for what i'm gonna be doing so if you can tell in my inventory uh with K tinker's contract i'm gonna be upgrading our tool right now first step before we could get a big smeltery i did create another uh um, seared brick so the way we start this off uh, the smeltery is you get some grout this is how you craft grout you get some clay some sand some gravel and it makes eight grout so you get a good amount just throw that into your furnace and there you go it turns into seared brick over time so not that bad pretty easy to make before we could make a big huge smeltery though we need to make a little seared smeltery yeah seared melter see first smeltery and it's what we need basically before we can uh get to the big guns so we need to make this seared melter <coughs> which is why i have glass as well seared brick Five glass, not too hard. There is a seared melter. Now we can make a seared heater. Eight brick and a square. Not hard to make either. A table. Drains, faucets, we'll need those. And we'll need a basin for blocks, might as well get the whole setup here you know what I mean there we go there we go so we put the heater down first you put your shared melter on top oops just like that you can put uh, your table or your basin on either side so I think I'm gonna do uh, Yeah, basin here. Yep, that looks nice. And then we need a way to get the liquids out. There's your faucet. Basic smeltery completed. Way to go. We did it. Easy as that, guys. And um, what do we need to throw in the heater? Easy enough for that to take a guess. Oh, we needed some coal in there. Just throw that. And now, you guys may be wondering what we're going to be upgrading our weapons to. Or which weapons we're going to be upgrading. Oh, I did say weapon, so our sword is one of them that we're going to be upgrading if that didn't give it away. Another thing we are going to be upgrading, though, is our pickaxe. I did upgrade it a little bit, You could, if anybody spotted that. But I just wanted some redstone. I needed that to make uh, something for the other part of this video, basically. So, we have 12 ingots free. Base 
the first part, we'll upgrade our pickaxe. I wanted to use osmium. Here we go. Not enough heat. Oh. Hmm. Maybe not enough heat. Lava, blazing blood lava. Do we have to go get lava? We might have to go get a bucket of lava. Hmm. Well, that's really inconvenient. I thought that was gonna work. Alright, guys. I'll be right back. You take your four iron. You take the redstone. You make your, uh your tank basically and you're able to even use the tank as a bucket too it's very nice very easy could hold a lot uh six 32 buckets uh so half a stack basically worth of um fluid in the first level tank and that's a that's a lot of uh anything you know what i mean water lava 64 buckets is a lot of uh any type of I mean 32 buckets is a lot of any type of food so there's our there's our iron and here we go just like that all right and I'm gonna go to our lava I'm gonna grab the lava and I'll be back guys I will be back What is up guys? I'm back with the lava. I had it placed down over here. I had a miss uh miss record basically. And so I just have to uh re-record re this part. But it's okay, it's okay. I didn't you guys I didn't miss nothing. I didn't upgrade none of my tools yet. I just found out though the lava didn't work in the smelter, so I don't know why if it's just a bug for now but in the book so you can you can use osmium in this level this level but you know you can't because you can't melt it you know what i mean so that's why i don't understand so Anyways, besides that, I got our, I have sand here. I made this stone. We have lead in here. So you place this down. You make your uh, small, small blade, you know, from Tinker Part Builder with any type of cobble material. Place that in there. Boom. Now we got an imprint. Now we could just, boom, get our lead out like that. Easy enough, easy enough. So we have two ingots left. Two ingots. I think I'm... Yes. So, let's do this. I wanted to make a tool handle. So this could get thrown away. I don't need that no more. Ah, uh, yes. And I wanted to do a tool handle with lead for our sword easy enough now we can come over here flint look at the damage increase on that 5 to 7 and nice it doesn't even go down it goes up 20% speed but hey more damage more damage We don't even go that much slower, to be honest. I just can't run with my sword out, basically. Anyways, so that's upgraded for now. That's what I wanted. Just because, uh, it's supposed to be getting dangerous. I'd be fine. Oh, there's a creeper out here. I could see him on the map. He's waiting out here for me. Anyways. We could still upgrade the part of the, um, 
part of the pickaxe. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. And I wanted to upgrade the binding and the tool rod. So we could put the tool rod. I think actually. How do I do this again? Wait. Molten tin onto rock. Just so. I just have to do this and this. Ooh, yeah. See, I don't even need to use the sand. Wow, that's cool. There we go. And I wanted a binding too for this. Now we can upgrade our pickaxe. Where is the binding on there? Binding doesn't do nothing. But there we go. Does lower our durability. Our mining speed is increased. But this is the stone shield that I really, this is what I want, the stone shield. So, since I'm going to use it for mining, see, mine stone protects the tool from future damage. More stone I mine, less durability gets future, so in the long run, it'll be better, you know what I mean? If I start off with it right away, too, I didn't know it leveled up like that. So, interesting, we'll see how much better it gets from there, too. Six nuggets, how I don't, can't really do nothing with six nuggets, <laughs> Um, what else was I going to make? I was just going to do the osmium. But for now, since I can't do that, this is just going to be the episode for now. I believe so. I could might, I wonder if it will let me make a tool binding. I mean, not a tool binding, but a tool handle. If I have enough. Oh, I don't. I don't. So I can put it on my lead sword. Oh, I guess that doesn't even matter, huh? Oh, that's alright. I'll just break that. Oh, well. Anyways. That's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got a little bit of our tools upgraded, a little bit, um, not exactly what I wanted to do, but basically there, we did get the house built, so we have a little upgrade, and a big upgrade. <laughs> one small upgrade, and one big upgrade for Gamers Nation. <laughs> for the Gamers Nation, uh, well thank you guys, next episode... I do need to get something on our food problem. We have a problem with food. I, I ain't getting, I'm starving basically these days. I'm living off of maggots, whatever I can find. Fishing with maggots in this little river, catching whatever I can catch. Other than that, I'm gonna be, first part is probably gonna be finishing the melter, smeltery, building the bigger smeltery, finishing Finishing upgrading the tools, uh, make a new tool, and then we're going to work on food after that. We'll work on food after that. Alright, thank you guys. You have yourself a good day, and don't forget to be a gamers. And sub if you want to, sub if you want to. Thank you guys. Gamers out.